Hi, this is John with the Everyday Bible Study. So glad to have you here with us today. We're looking at the Word of God, and uh, we're looking at the life of Jesus Christ, and we're in the booklet, The Amazing Life of Jesus Christ. We're on page 28, and uh, we're looking at the power that Jesus has. And I'm not saying had, uh, I'm saying has, because he is alive. And he has power over disease, he has power over nature, he has the power to forgive sins, and he has power over the demonic forces uh, that uh, mess with us and roam this earth. And he even has power over death. And uh, he proved that when he rose from the dead after he died for our sins on the cross, he rose the third day. But uh, he proved it prior to that, too. And we're going to look at some of those passages. We're going to look at this first passage. This is from uh, the Gospel of John. And this is from uh, the 11th chapter, verses 39 through 40, and then 43 and 44. And it said here, uh, Jesus said, take away the stone. And what happened was um, Lazarus had died. And uh, Jesus didn't show up until three, uh, I guess, I'm sorry, four days after his death. And uh, his, uh, his sisters, Mary and Martha there, uh, were very upset that Jesus didn't show up because uh, they knew that he could heal people of sickness, but they didn't know what else he could do. And it says here, Martha, the sister of him who was dead, said to him, Lord, by this time there is a stench, for he has been dead four days. They didn't have embalming back then. And uh, so uh, the body would start de decaying. And within four days, there would be a stench because uh, the uh, uh, bacteria that's in the gut uh, starts uh, eating at the flesh. And uh, just uh, the body's breaking down and uh, in death. And uh, yeah, there's the, the smell of death is just a terrible smell. And uh, that was occurring because he had been dead for four days. And Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? And uh, Jesus had already told her that. And she may not realize what that fully meant. And he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus heard his voice from beyond the grave. Uh, he was already in eternity, and he came and uh, re-entered a uh, healed body and uh, said here, And he who had died came out bound hand and foot with grave clothes. They'd wrap him up kind of like a mummy. And uh, Jesus said to them, Loose him and let him go. And uh, actually it lets us know that Lazarus, later uh, that same day had dinner with Jesus uh, and you know, he hadn't ate anything in, in more than four days because he was dead but um, uh, Jesus healed him completely and we're look at another passage here this is from Matthew uh, chapter 9 verse 18 and 25 it said here a ruler came and worshipped worshiped him saying my daughter has just died but come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. But when the crowd was put outside, he went and he took her by the hand, and the girl arose. And uh, we see, um, this was a guy by the name of Jarius, and he had a daughter that had died, and uh, she was probably about 12 years old. And uh, close to being an adult in those days, because when you were 13, you were considered an adult. But uh, she had, had died from a fever, some disease, maybe like malaria or something. And um, so she uh, was lifted up from death into life. And Jesus uh, had the, uh, the ability to do that. Here we're going to see another story. And not, not, we say story, but these are true historical facts. And... Uh, this one is very interesting because, um, you know, if you want to heal somebody, if you want to get people's attention, stop the funeral possession. And back in those days, they didn't have cars that would be in a funeral possession. Uh, basically, you were walked to the graveyard. And uh, it was just like a little funeral parade. And go through town. 
And uh, it says here, And when he came near the gate of the city, behold, a dead man was being carried out, the only son of a mother, and she was a widow. So here we see a mother uh, that had already lost her husband, and here she was probably losing, uh, may have been her only son. And her son had died, and uh, they were having the funeral, taking him to bury him. And said here, when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, Do not weep. And then he came and he touched the open coffin. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. And he who was dead sat up and began to speak. And that probably freaked the crowd out. Man, if you saw somebody that was dead and uh, this uh, guy comes and says uh, to him, arise. Uh, and then he begins to speak. Um, you know, that's that's going to freak people out because uh, dead people aren't supposed to do that. Uh, that's just like something from a horror movie. But now this was actually a very good thing because he probably went on uh, not to die early death, but got, went on to uh, have a normal uh, life. And Jesus had the power over uh, death itself. And uh, and he still does. So, um, but you know he does. He has power over also sin, and in if we're still caught in sin in our life, uh, we're basically a dead man walking. Bible tells us that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, and uh, that means that eternal destruction is going to be coming to us unless we have a way to get the sin out of us and to be cleansed up uh, from the inside out. And that's exactly what Jesus can do if we put our faith in Him. Uh, Jesus conquered over sin and death when He died on the cross, gave His life freely, and became the sacrifice for our sins. And He took all the sins of the world, each and every sin that I have and each and every sin that you have committed and will commit, and He died for those sins. And uh, we can be forgiven of those sins if we have faith in Jesus Christ. And uh, he has the power to forgive sin. And he also has the power to raise people from the dead. And not only did he have the power to raise people from the dead, but after he died for our sins and was put into a grave uh, that said that the... Um, when Jesus rose from the dead, the stone was rolled away from the from the grave, and uh, Jesus left. And there were angels there speaking to those that first came to the grave, uh, telling them, um, why do you seek the dead here? Jesus, the one that you were looking for, has risen. And uh, Jesus himself rose from the dead. And uh, we're promised that this could occur to us too. The Bible tells us that when Jesus comes back for his church, that the dead in Christ will rise first and will rise and be given a brand new body to prepare us for heaven. And then the everybody who's here, alive, uh, will meet Jesus in the air along with those that first rose from the dead. And that will be snatched up, uh, there'll be a rapture, and he'll come for his church. And uh, then, uh, and I believe that he's gonna come for his church prior to the things that we see in the book of Revelation and uh, you know the terrible things when God brings his judgment upon earth and I believe this church won't have to go through that and some people don't don't believe that but uh, the way I interpret the Bible uh, is that uh, Jesus is going to come to snatch up his church prior uh, to this time and he will end up destroying the world but he uh, wants to provide safety and protection for us. He told us that he's going to heaven to prepare us a place, and if he had not been doing that, that uh, he would have told us. And uh, so he wants us to live with him in heaven and have eternal life and not face the punishment for our sins, but to be forgiven of our sin. And he took the punishment himself so that we would not have to face uh, the penalty of sin but that we can have forgiveness of our sin and we can have the guilt removed for the things that we've done that's wrong. 
and uh, that uh, we could live with him forever. And uh, I hope that uh, you're believing on Christ. And if you want to be saved, we're going to pray here and uh, just uh, repent of your sins, turn away from your sins, and then ask God to save you. And uh, I think he will. And the fact is, I know he will. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your word, and we thank you for this amazing power that Jesus had to overcome demons, to forgive us of our sins, to heal, and uh, to uh, had power over nature, and that he has power over death. And uh, that's a promise that we have, that even though our bodies may die, uh, that we'll be given eternal life. We have a soul that will live forever, and we'll get a brand new body. And then if we have put our faith in Jesus Christ, then you will provide us with eternal life and that uh, we can live eternally with you. And Lord, we pray that many people will believe on Jesus for their salvation from sin and that they'll turn away from sin, turn away from the works of the devil in their life, and that they will turn to Jesus Christ for their salvation and uh, believe that he does forgive sin and uh, that he... Uh, will be their Lord and their Savior. And Lord, uh, help them to cry out to you and ask for this forgiveness and express their faith in Jesus. And you promised that you would save those that uh, uh, express their faith in you and then confess that. And Lord, we just thank you for many that uh, are going to believe or do believe and have turned to you, cried out to you. And, uh, you, you know, you told us that um, whenever we cry out to you that those that call on the name of the Lord will be saved and we believe that and we believe that for the individuals that are watching this uh, right now and Lord provide salvation for them by having faith in Jesus Christ this we pray in Jesus' name Amen Thank you for joining us for the Everyday Bible Study. We're so glad to have the ability uh, to provide these uh, uh, Bible lessons to you. We want to thank YouTube for hosting these. And uh, it's just a great gift that they've given us uh, to uh, be able to produce these videos and uh, that they're uh, willing to host these. And, um, uh, you know, this is a very special privilege that they've allowed us to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with all that will believe. And, uh, uh, you know, if you're seeing this on social media, if this is on Facebook, uh, share uh, this with your friends. Uh, if you're watching it on Instagram or on Google Plus or on Twitter, share this message with somebody and uh, so that they can know this message too and so that they may have salvation. Uh, so until next time, this is John with Everyday Bible Study, praying that you have a great day.